Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm fantastic. How, how are you guys doing? We're super excited. We're excited to talk to a former Minnesota Viking. <laughs> yeah, go bike. How many years were you in the NFL? Uh, nine years. Uh, I started off with Green Bay uh, and then um, came to Minnesota, played most of my years. One, one cool thing that I read about you, as a player, you actually performed the national anthem before a game, and you've done that several times since. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was uh, after, uh, my rookie year uh, with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I performed the national anthem and then also played in it. So I think I'm a trivia question. So, <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Have you? That's a tough song to sing. Have you ever messed it up? Uh, knock on wood, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. <laughs> but it is a difficult song. I mean, it's, it's not only the pressure of singing the song, but the pressure of not messing up because it's such an important song. <laughs> so... Um, and then uh, most of the time, for me, when I'm singing it, there's at least about 50 or 100,000 people watching. <laughs> yeah, that's nerve-wracking for sure. So as a former player, I got, I got to ask you, what are your thoughts on the, the current player protest during the National Anthem? Oh, uh, wow. You know, um, it, it, it's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, it's great that we live in a country that, you know, freedom of speech is awesome, right? And then protesting can also be a beautiful thing. But then also you have to understand like what you're protesting for. Uh, and, and if it's, you know, if it's, it's something meaningful, I mean, but if you're only protesting because of what the president says, you know, at, at, you know, the comment was on the NFL, then I'm not sure if that's, you know, it, it's one of those things where if, if, if there's a purpose of you protesting and taking a knee and standing and, and, and using your freedom of speech, then yes, uh, and do it. Uh, but what, what it is, is that you, we live in a country that everyone's proud of. And so when you take a knee and peop, you know, a lot of the fans, uh, which we all need the fans, are, are watching, uh, are getting upset because of it. Right. Um, so as far as, you know, for that, it's one of those things where, I mean, for me, you know, if I was to take a knee, it would be because, it would be because of a, a, a great purpose and a great reason. And that, for me, is about, uh, you know, being part of the LGBT community and being suppressed and, and, and so forth with, you know, things that, you know, us not being included in the already LG, uh, diversity, pro, um, you know, programs that they're out there for in the, with the NFL. That's the reason why I would protest, because I have a lot of brothers that are playing in the league that don't feel that they can come out because we do live in a world that don't accept us for who we truly are, but we don't feel like we have the support. Uh, that we need, that we can come out. I, along with everyone that have played in the NFL, has made the NFL what it is today. Uh, I put my blood and sweat. I played, played nine years in the NFL as a closeted gay man and going through a lot of the depression and everything like that uh, while I was playing would be the reason why I would take a knee. But like I said before, if you're going to take a knee, make sure... When they interview you, uh, when they interview you, that you have a purpose why um, you are protesting, because that's why we live in a beautiful country like America, right? So, the freedom of speech uh, and, and and so forth. So that's why I would take a knee. I love that answer, Ezra. And you brought it up. You're an openly gay man now, and you're competing on yeah. The Voice, brand new platform yeah. for you. Are you hoping to use this new platform to inspire other gay Americans? Oh my gosh, I'm using this platform to inspire anybody. That have you know, um, that have uh, thought that their dream has you know um, uh, that they they couldn't pursue their dream. Like I'm 49 years old, and I put singing on the back burner, and to be able to to do this and and be on the voice is you know for me it's very exciting. But I'm hoping that it inspires other people. That, you know, it's never too late to pursue your dream, or it's never too late to pursue anything, um, you know, or, or, or to start anything. You're a good dude and an inspiration to so many. It's so much fun watching you compete and advance on The Voice. If our audience wants to follow your journeys, they can find you all over social media. Tell everybody where to find you. Yeah, it's just at Acera Tuaolo on my Twitter and then also Instagram and, and Facebook.